Yeah, so as you can see, price has just hit the take profit, and this is the result of this trade, guys. So this is very simple to do. Just pay attention to this strategy. Hi, guys. Welcome once again to my class. I'm going to be teaching you something very, very important. So do not skip this video because this strategy is for you. Do not give up yet because you're about to learn something very, very good right here in this video. Okay, so what makes this very video important? This is important because I'm not just going to be showing you a strategy and rating it myself. You are going to be the one to rate the strategy by the end of the strategy because we are going to be back testing right here. You're going to see the results of this strategy. And please, guys, when you see the result of this strategy, kindly drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about this strategy. Okay, guys, so my name is Dynamite and this is Dynamite FX, your number one trading academy. So if you are um, just seeing my video for the first time, you're welcome. I'm glad you're here. And if you know that, please do not forget to subscribe. Okay, don't forget to hit the subscription button. In fact, by the end of this video, you will be the one to hit the subscription button, right? Okay, so if you know you are a returning subscriber, you are a returning viewer, you are the real VIP. And thank you very much. I love you guys. So without further ado, I want to go straight to this strategy because i don't want to keep you waiting okay time is money so let's get right into this okay guys so right now on this chart you can see this is um synthetic indices volatility 25 index so it doesn't matter the index okay it's a chart so i just have to use this chart so like i said that we're gonna be using um, you're going to be the judge of the strategy. So I'm going to be starting today is the 19th of July and I'm doing this recording as at 9.33 p.m. from my location from Nigeria right here. And so um, this is a strategy I've used over and over for the past one year. I have about three very beautiful strategies and I thought I should share this. So in my video before now, I had in my previous video, I had Thoughts about strat and um, divergences and how to use divergence to your advantage. So I'm going to be leaving a link in this somewhere in this video where you are going to. If you haven't seen that video on divergence, okay, you you can also go there so you can have a deeper understanding of what I'm sharing here with you. So without um, delaying, let's go straight to it. And then for the indicator, for the settings of the indicator, you're going to be having that towards the end of this video. And after we are done with the back testing of this video, so do well to sit tight, watch because it's not going to be long. We'll be done. So right here we have two indicators. We're going to be using the MACD indicator, and we're going to be using just one indicator on the chart. Now you don't need an indicator on the chart, but for me, if you already know me, I love to use the moving average a lot. It gives me a lot of insight into the market. Okay, so I don't like to see my chart without a moving average. So right here we have one moving average on the chart and we have the MACD. So let's start from the last um, here. So this is um, the 15th of July. This last setup I had here was on the 15th of July. Today is the 19th. So now I'm talking about this. This is a strategy and this is the rules. The two things you're looking out for in these strategies. Number one, a divergence and then a neckline that is broken. Now you will not know it is a divergence until you use the MACD. So that is the reason why the MACD is very important and I love the MACD so much. So whenever you see this chart like this, you can see that we have um, price on this chart is doing a higher high. Okay, you can see that from here to here, price was tilting upward. And what you're seeing here, the MACD is tilting downwards, okay? I said if you do not understand the divergence okay i'm going to be dropping the link to the video where i talked about divergence so you can learn that directly from there okay so right here the first thing you want to spot is a divergence right after you've spotted the divergence the next thing you want to do is mark the last swing that for now this is an uptrend the last swing of that divergence is what we are going to be picking right here right now so this is the last swing right here this is the last swing low this happens to be the neckline because after this swing low you had the last swing high 
so this is a swing low so now you're gonna mark that and extend it okay for future sake every time you have a MACD every time you have a divergence whereby price is making a higher high and the indicator is indicating a lower low like what you have here on the MACD okay the MACD was tilting downwards and price was tilting upward here what you're looking out for right now is for price to come and break this very neckline you are seeing right here once this neckline is broken the candle that breaks it becomes your entry now i'm going to come back to um how you can now take your profits and your stop loss now when this um this is done you take that trade there so hold on because i know a lot of you will be asking so where will be the take profit and where will be the stop loss now that is that that's the first one i'm showing you this is the second one price was making a higher high okay as you can see here price was making a higher high here this is the first leg and this is the second leg what is the market doing the first leg is high is higher and the second leg is lower that gives us a a a, a different um, information telling us that price is going upward mark is coming downward that is a divergence that's what divergence means just in case you don't know meaning that the price is indicating to up as in an opposite direction so you can see that the MACD has indicated a divergence of this price and then we took I took note of this neckline the last swing here is the neckline and immediately the neckline is broken you take the trade there confirming a buy okay just hold on i know your question is we are coming there this is the next trade on the same chart guys this is 6th of july we have another divergence here okay this is a divergence here you can see that price is doing a lower low and a lower high sorry um a higher low a lower low a lower high yes for a downtrend and the MACD is to just started a higher high and a higher low. That's a divergence. So the last low created a neckline, gave us a neckline, broke. Okay, the last low here broke the last swing high that was here. And that's why we had to take our entry from here. So the candle that closes, um, so um, the candle that closes above that so immediately this price broke the very price that broke this neckline as you can see is where your entry is now let's move on this is another example you can see that price right here you can see you have to be very sure that the the wicks the tops are not equal or either they are equal and then you have to check what the market is doing so right here MACD was tilting upward while this was flat. This up was flat. This two was flat, okay? Was almost tilting downward, but it was almost at the same level. And this was flat. Then we, I, I marked the neckline, which happens to be the last swing here. The last swing low happens to be the, next, the neckline and the entry below that. And this is another scenario where there was a MACD okay i spotted another divergence here price was doing a lower low the first high was lower was higher than the next high and then the macd was rather showing us a higher high movement right here and so i i wouldn't have known that there was um there was good, that was a divergence until this neckline got broken and when the neckline got broken i checked and I confirmed it and I saw that it was it was a divergence right there and an opportunity to take this trade, okay? This is 25th of June. Let's keep going. The same time frame, 15 minutes. So if you're doing this, stick to one time frame, okay? So you don't get um conf you don't get into wrong trades, just stick to a time frame. So now here again, the same 15 minutes on the same pair. This is the 19th of June. You have price doing this movement upward here, it's giving you a higher high here. Okay, this high was higher than this high, but here we have a divergence. 
and after that remember our concern is the break of the neckline this is the neckline that got broken this very neckline got broken okay so right here where you have the neckline got broken you you just mark and extend this to remind you and this was where the neckline got broken right here this very point you're seeing right here okay this very point here is where it got broken you enter the trade there let's keep going okay so before i keep i okay let me get let's keep keep going to the end of this um to the end where this chart can actually stop because i want you to be the judge of this um of this strategy by yourself so right here you can have another you can see that we have a divergence here as well and i marked the neckline and this neckline got broken right you take your entry here at the below the neckline make sure that the candle that breaks it make sure that the candle breaks it and closes below it not leave a week it closes below it as you can see this one here this very one is the one that closed below it so take notes let's keep going the same time frame right we have another one here there's a divergence right here you can see price giving us a diverted movement a diverted movement and then we have the marked the um we have the neckline the last swing here got broken and this is the candle the very candle that closed above that neckline and that was an entry come with me let's keep going it has to be perfect make sure that the divergence don't try to manipulate it you cannot manipulate it make sure it is the divergence you're seeing this is another one we have a double top here and the magdi gave us a divergence remember we are after the divergence and the neckline now you have the neckline here this is a neckline i took this i marked this neckline here and of course extended it because you always have to mark and extend so you can read your market your chart very well like a pro so you don't get distracted and then the entry was at the close the very candle that closed below the neckline was the entry don't forget that so we're going we'll soon be done and this again you can see this this was a swing high rather and the magdi was showing a swing low and i marked the neckline as well and after marking the neckline what happened price came down um the same thing happened here i don't want to take too long the same thing happened here you can see that after the neckline got broken what happened price went up the same thing happened there there was a small divergence here after the neckline got broken what happened price came and that and that in 17 general okay so in april we can't go any further so you are asking right now what's going to be the entry and what's going to be the exit so right now this is a rule for entry and exit that's why i said stay to the end so i can get it now the rule is this when you mark your neckline and the price gets broken you take the trade you're gonna do this measure the length measure the length from where you have the neckline to the last swing there pick that same measurement and take it down to your entry at the close of that candle that's your entry this would have been the take profit of this trade this would have been the take profit of this trade and guys it worked i said you're going to count this by yourself that's it so all of this let's just do the same thing for this downtrend this is it this is the same length for this this trade this length is equal from here to here the last swing low and the swing and the neckline was broken i just picked this and marked it from when the candle closed above that and that was it so that's again is another win trade for us there that's another win trade right there okay this is another one the same thing as we've seen you keep measuring it i've already measured it to make this video short so it doesn't stay for too long you can see that from the neckline to the last swing low is the same measurement from when this trade this neckline got broken and that happens to be the take profit so this is a one is to one ratio 
just for it to stay consistent so you don't have to stay long you can if you want to ride a long trend all you need to do is just break even okay so you don't miss out so that it doesn't so that a winning trade doesn't turn out to be a losing trade don't become greedy you must have a rule of entry so this is it this is the same length and of course at the close of this, this is the same length and so what do we have here we have a successful trade here one is to one ratio your stop loss has to be at the bottom like the the, the edge the edge where you have the the um where you have this last swing low the second leg of the divergence is a stop loss that's why i said the one is to one ratio that's the profit and this is the stop this is the stop loss and that's the take profit so for this chart where you have this is where you're going to have your stop loss just a peep above that is going to be your stop loss and this is going to be so this is a one is to one ratio guys take note the same thing here guys this is going to be the stop loss because this is the last high here and of course this is going to be the take profit because you can see from where we marked where we measured the arrow down here this is the take profit the same thing here this is the stop loss the stop loss is going to be here where you're seeing me touch this the stop loss is just going to be a peep above that so based on the measurements based on the measurement let's measure this from here to here we have this measurement here just we are going to pick that measurement here and make that our entry that's the measurement so this is going to be your entry and your take profit because that's the same entry you have the same measurement you have as stop loss too right there so that's the same measurement you have for your take profit okay fast forward this the same thing right here from the neckline to the measurement is your take profit right and your stop loss above the same thing here to make this quick i'm going to make this very quick that is it the same measurements right there the same measurements from the neckline here from the entry the same measurements to where you have that so by now you would have understood that i'm trying to make this faster so you can understand so from there you can see that from the entry the same measurement from the neckline downwards from where you have the arrow stop remember i measured this the arrow is the same the same measurement from the swing up to the neckline the same is also the same for your take profit take note of that that's how it is this is 15 minutes guys and we are still not done this is it from the entry of the neckline to where you have the measurement we had we even exceeded the take, the take profit you can see don't forget the stop loss has to be below the entry if you're buying the stop loss is below if you're selling the stop loss is above this is it as well price from there came down and respected it it respected the same measurement this is one is to one ratio from that point you can see there as well this is the measurement from here to here from the neckline to the last swing low is the same measurement and that's the same measurement that we're going to be using for your our take profit so you can see that if you drag that up that trade was a successful trade so you're going to rate this by the end please guys if you're watching this just drop your comment guys tell me what you think about this strategy guys please guys be kind enough tell me what you think about this strategy okay this is really going to help you if you pay attention to this okay drop your comment let me know what you think about this strategy if it means anything okay so guys um i've been able to show you all of this so right now we are going to be counting you know we started from today as at the date of this recording on the 19th of june of july we started this strategy started this back testing from the 15th so let's count this trade guys count this trade with me and let's see if this is a successful strategy or not now let's go this is one on the 15th one 15th one 12 2 8 3 of july 4 25th of june 5 22nd of june 6 17th of june 7 13th of june 8 10th of june 9 
2nd of June, 10th. Wow, this is crazy. 25th of May, 11th. 22nd, 12th. 21st, 13th. Wow. Wow. 13th. 13th trades taken and all were successful. I took my time to take out only the divergences, guys. Only the divergence. This is crazy, guys. This is 13 trades taken on the same pair, on the same time frame with the same one is to one ratio of the divergence. And guys, this is crazy. You can tell me this is crazy, guys. Video, look at, look somewhere around this video. You're gonna see the link to. So, if you know that you're new to my channel, guys, you can see for yourself. So, I promise I'm gonna be sharing a lot of helpful tips and a lot of helpful strategies, guys. I'm not gonna be sharing strategies that do not make any sense. I'm gonna be trading, I'm gonna be showing you strategies you can use to flip your account, strategies you can use to trade your accounts gradually. If you're the type that is very conservative, this is good for you. One is to one ratio is very safe. This is good for you. If you know that you're a pro as well, this is also an added advantage to your trading skills and idea guys so if you know that this video has helped you and it means anything to you please guys give this video a thumbs up guys if you have not subscribed guys ah please please give this video give me your subscription guys please thank you very much and also um i said i was going to be dropping the the link to this video where i talked about divergence and using macd you can also find the link to the other video i explained how i use the magdi to trade so guys thank you very much for sitting tight to the end of this video i'm i'm very happy you are the real vip and see you in my next video bye so as you can see on this trade i have taken this trade based on the analysis i have just finished explaining so this is of my divergence on five minutes let me check the 15 minutes yeah, this is a divergence I saw within it, even though it's already a buy trend, okay? You can see price just bounced off the moving average. And I knew there was going to be a buy trend. And then I saw a divergence again on 15 minutes where the MACD is doing the higher high. And then the price is doing a lower low. And I marked this neckline. As you can see here, after marking the neckline, I measured the um, length of the last leg and the neckline. I used it for my entry. So this was supposed to be from here, but because I saw this price pulling back, I took this trade from where I took the trade. I just placed, uh, I just placed my trade there to be my take profit zone, and. So price is just about there. I have already met my target on this trade. So this is how simple it is to take this trade. Wait for the divergence. After the divergence, wait for price to break out of the neckline. And then anywhere around there, take your trade. Measure the length of the trade of the neckline and the last week. And the last um, swing low. And then take this trade and you are in for a good one.